So, hello from my office. It's at the foot of my bed and the front of my TV. And there's a door, so if you want to leave, you know where it is. So, I thought I would do this little, hopefully short video. Um, with a little bit of cosplay involved, because it's Halloween. In less than one week, this is, because Halloween, I believe, is on Tuesday, and, um, yep, if in hours, it will be Friday, no, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, brunch, um, Monday, and then Halloween, Halloween, it is, so, a little bit of cosplay. Now, a little known fact about Star Trek the, um, the nothing, the Voyager. Oh, shit, that knocked you down. Um, Star Trek Voyager. It went away from a, a very peacocky type blue uniform for the science and <clears throat> medical staff to a more, um, darker, uh, uh, teal color, so that's why I chose this specifically. Now, it did on, um, yeah, I believe it was Wish. On Wish, they called it blue, but I saw the color, and the image of the color was exactly what I was looking for, and I was, fingers crossed, hoping it would show up. <clears throat> Uh, the appropriate shade of blue-ish green. Not turquoise, but slightly darker. I'm trying to find a good angle for this. You son of a bitch. Oh, would you just... That's why nobody likes you. Now, knowing that I wanted to make a video, I also wanted to include, okay, why did the sleeves gotta be so long on this thing? I wanted to include, um, uh, a, a little bit of cosplay, because I was having fun, or hoping to have fun, but the only badge I could find was from the next generation. So, we're going to have to make do. Now. Now to the meat and or potatoes of the uh, um, video. Now, in the last video that I made, it was a little bit long, a lot a bit long. And I, um, I touched on the subject matter of my leg situation stealing my smile and my niece I, I didn't want to leave my niece with the impression that my leg situation was going to steal my smile so <clears throat> if you've already seen that video whatever but um i practiced smiling in the um mirror and then as a result, I could get a little bit more of the humor back in my um, expressions and my uh, mannerisms and uh, just a little bit more humor in my face, in my general disposition, my existence. And that has been very helpful. But the reason I wanted to make another video was because I noticed something fairly recently about my weight. The more I weigh, uh, the less obvious it is that I smirk when I smirk. Essentially, the very thing that keeps me looking young, this baby face, is also obstructing the thing that I promised I would not lose. 
Okay. So now, in a much slower type of way, I have to make sure that the aftermath of losing my leg does not steal my smile. And, and really that not losing my smile was enough to pull me out of the abyss before. I can only theorize that not losing my smile again will be enough to keep me on a straightforward path of losing weight. And, and I, I know me. I know that, I know what works and what doesn't work for longevity. When I lost the weight, I did not realize I had lost the weight when I was in my early 20s. I just did what I did that promised to lose the weight. I did it every day. Eventually, my, my biology would catch up with my activity so long as I stuck with it. And I had to, primarily because what I was doing to lose weight was my job. So there was no, um, it's like, I don't feel like it today. It's your job. You have to do it. No, it's not. And that's what I have to work on. I have to find a way to make losing weight a part of my job. But it only works so much because I only can work so many hours out of the day. And then, yeah, when I'm home, the day is not so great. And I tried different things, like I'm grabbing a small thing to buy, uh, to eat on my way home, so that I do not uh, starvation mode all over dinner and scarf it all down. It's, it doesn't work. Not in this house. Um, and after work, I'm exhausted. And that's not an excuse, that's just an explanation. I am exhausted after work. And the last thing I want to look at is food after work. Now, after I've had time to rest and rehydrate, then I get really hungry right about 9 p.m. 9 p.m., just in time to already have been in bed. Just, it sucks. It's a big bag of suck. And, um, if I'm going to handle this weight situation, of which I believe as of this video, we are closing in on the two-year anniversary of the last time I made this promise to myself. Oh, I'm so unreliable. But it's like, after I made a video, one of my first videos, I, um, uh, I told myself this was going to be a channel that was about personal improvement and about cataloging my really great ideas for things. And as I get better and as life becomes more of what can only be described as normal, I want to gear it towards that. I may have to create a whole new channel in order to do it successfully because so far this has just been a channel cataloging my progress and my improvement and my ability to um, look back on how things were and be happy for how things are so that I can be mo remain motivated for how things are going to be tomorrow. And I, that was not my intention for the channel to begin with. But within months of my first videos, I lost a leg. And now I have to... I had to find my smile once in here and display it in a way that made it so other people didn't have to worry about me. Now I have to find my smile in here. And
make sure that people can see it. So, this is me from the time ship relativity, 28th century. Yeah, you, have to, you had to be there. Having gone back in time to the 24 70s, we all remember the 70s, it was crazy time, crazy time back then. And, you know, pretending to be a time cop is not easy. Walking around in a uh, bizarro turtleneck and trying to fit in with this ridiculous outfit that they wore back in the 24th century. Nerds. Anyway. But that's my cosplay slash update video. And while I am recording this from my office, you are not looking at my office. I'm looking at my office and you and me. So, uh, I did promise last video that I would do a tour of my room. Once it got cleaned up, well, guess what? It's not clean. <laughs> I, I'm a... I'm a clutter bug, but Halloween's coming, and after Sunday, I will have no reason to hold on to a lot of stuff around here, and I don't mean I'm throwing it away, I mean a lot of it's going to storage, I don't have any more um, uh, brunch table items to um, construct or craft anymore, uh, after the Sunday, I'm on to the next project. And the next project is going to be my birthday. And this year, the theme for my birthday is going to be space. Not in a, a sci-fi sense, more just a general aurora borealis, stars in the sky, appreciating the out there of out there. And as a result, my initial plan is going to be to go to the planetarium, which is going to be my birthday first this year. I'm going to the planetarium. Me and a friend, we're going to enjoy some celestial bodies in a laser light show at Union Station. And uh, I, that's just going to be me and my best friend. But I have a few best friends. He's like my ultra best friend. We've been friends for more than 20 years. And, um, actually 20 years as of now. I was 21 when we met. <laughs> oh, so. Uh, I do have to come up with another event for my birthday that it has to do with the theme, but it doesn't have to be a first, you know space <clears throat> situation. Maybe there's a, a club or not so much a bar. It's like in a bar, all you can do is drink. At a club, you can at least dance. I can get up there and pretend. <laughs> um, yeah. Or some restaurant. Some... There has to be some sort of scythe it can be sci-fi-ish. Just science-based. Science-y, space-based. Uh, location, somewhere in the city. And if I can't find one, we'll see what we can see. But, enough spoilers. Alright, short video. Hopefully short. How many? Okay, yep, pretty short. Have a good evening, and hopefully the next video will be either cataloging how well, um, my brunch went, and or a tour of my room. I, I think the brunch is going to happen first. I'm just so overwhelmed with stuff. I'm trying to be whelmed <laughs> and, and then work my tolerance of whelmishness up. I'm pretty sure you can be whelmed in Europe, right? Who's my age? Anyway, moving on. And out. Have a good one. Bye.